as I've said before, mature teams, they don't ride the wave. They're not up and down with the opponent. Uh, they play to a certain standard, and, and uh, they encourage one another to play to that standard. And the more guys we can get playing at that level, the better team we are. And, and so that's what, that's what uh, Saturday was about. Together on three, one, two, three, good. Texas A&M went overtime for its opening win over UCLA. This week, they're expected to have it wrapped up in short order. But after being taken to the edge, there are no excuses for taking it easy. Okay. All right, listen up. For you guys that are going to play more, you twos and threes, guys are going to get in the game this week, and we expect to, you to help us. All right, tomorrow is the day for you to make sure you know what you're doing. No question is a bad question. So make sure in the meeting you know what you're doing. All right, everybody good? Good job today. Really good job today. It's a long season, and only one game is complete. With the second looming, the Aggies hope to soon start hitting their stride. All right, fellas, let's go ahead and get started. It says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, Paul says, Do you not know that in a race all runners run, but only one gets the prize, run in such a way as to win? He didn't say you're going to win every race, but he said run in such a way as to win. Life is not a sprint, y'all. Endure hard times. Endure uh, opposition. Endure critics. Endure people who've wronged you. You have to endure those things. You can't get in the middle of them and quit. Hey, things are gonna happen in a football game. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You can't control weather. You can't control, you can control us. But things will happen. But don't grow weary. Be fighting. Every single minute, every single second that this team exists. We are going to run our race this season. This is just lap two. But we got to run in such a way as to win. The Pulse, Texas A&M football is brought to you by Memorial Herman, official sports medicine partner of Texas A&M Athletics. It's game day in College Station. The 12th man has flocked to Kyle Field. They come in masses to see the Aggies regardless of who lines up across. It's just a few Saturdays in the fall every year, but they always leave a lasting impression. Guys, one thing that, that I got from last week, Mike Evans is here, one of the best receivers in the National Football League. Be will. Right, who we all know, love in this room. Just got named and started. Right, saw Javante Byrne. He's not playing football anymore. And they all said the exact same thing. I wish I had one more series in Kyle Field. Just one more. All. Oh, don't take one snap for granted today. Simmons in motion and a false start on first down, an ominous beginning for the visitors. 
in their first ever appearance here at Kyle Field. Not only is he a ball hawk, but he's not afraid to come out of center field and lay the wood, my friend. Gray floats it midfield and nearly picked off Armani Watts. Fourth down. Fourth makes a move and there he goes. Shoved out of bounds. Trevor Knight in zone and incomplete. Christian Kirk, the intended target, went right through his hands. It'll bring up fourth and goal. A touchdown on the opening drive was just out of reach. Special teams provides the points, then keeps Prairie View off the scoreboard. It was only a matter of time till AM got synced up. One pass option play. Ricky Seals Jones the catch. Gain of 16 yards by Keith Ford. And the running game getting going now for AM. Knight with time delivers a strike. Ricky Seals Jones, and the drive continues. Down to the 11-yard line. 6'5", 240. That's an easy toss and catch right there. Straight ahead for the touchdown. Keith Ford bulldozed his way across the goal line. He had a lateral jump step, jump cut, and then again he accelerates into the end zone and finishes with power. Here's Reynolds, the jump ball. Did he bring it in? They'll give him the catch at the 31-yard line. And a great toss by Trevor Knight, and even better reception by Josh Reynolds. And he needed all six for that frame to grab it. Four wide on third down, Knight flush. And this is where he's so dangerous with a pass. Trevor Knight far side, and Trevor Knight with a touchdown. Danced his way down the sideline, give him six. Starting to roll, the Aggies close the first quarter up 17 nothing. The Pulse, Texas A&M football is brought to you by Pepsi, official soft drink of Texas A&M athletics. Texas A&M and Prairie View from Kyle Field. I'm Will Johnson on the CC Creation sideline microphone. The Aggies have a 17 to nothing lead as we get set to start the second quarter. Right now, let's pause 10 seconds for station ID. It's Aggie football from Learfield. A&M begins to enforce their will, starting on the defensive side of the ball. Going to be third down at seven. Rolling and a throw. Uh, that'll be intercepted. That's Texas A&M. The ball is picked off at the 40-yard line, and it will be Noel Ellis. A throw and a catch. That will be advanced across the 40 and down now to the 35-yard line. Damian Ratley, first down to 10. A&M now at the Prairie View 35-yard line. A handoff goes to White. Good hole, 30, 25, 20, across the 20. Fights his way to the 16-yard line. The throw to the end zone. Touchdown, and that's Speedy Doyle. Just a play-action fake and the quick slant to Speedy. He gets inside of the defender. A perfect toss from Trevor Knight. Quick touchdown from eight yards out. Williams goes in motion to break the two halfbacks wide open up the middle. Knight's going to carry to the 40s, headed for the sideline, will step out of bounds across the 45 and into the Prairie View bench. McCoy out over the ball, will snap it on the count. And a handoff, Ford's going to the right side on a sweep. He's turned the corner at the 45, the 40-yard line, three wides to the left, two on the right. Empty again in the backfield, a throw and a catch. That's Kirk at the 25. He is on the sideline. Did he get in? A touchdown! He did not step out. Looked close at about the 10. Got in from 34 yards out. Aggies just made it 30 to nothing. Boy, he's electric. 
he's just something very, very special. This was nothing more than just a, a pass out on the sideline. He made two guys miss on his way to getting into the end zone. How long they been? Dog eight, six, eight. Hey, hey, hey. By the way, a win today in this game over Prairie a &M would extend Texas A&M's non-conference home winning streak, Dave, up to 23 in a row. Just when it seemed the first half onslaught was over, a Panther three and out gives the Aggies one more chance to strike. The Aggies have 42 seconds to go. And a couple of timeouts left for A&M as well. Well, let's see how they're going to play it. Let's see if they're going to just run out the clock. First down and 10. Knight's going to air it out. He's got a man. That's Kirk. 20, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Well, I guess that answered the question. They aren't going to just run out the clock. <laughs> it's a deep post route. Christian Kirk behind everybody. And what a nice throw from Trevor Knight. Hit him right in stride. <laughs> 38 to nothing at the intermission. Bands are about to march. This is going to be fun. Wish you were here today. The intermission had arrived, but two great performances stood ready to entertain. Now we're gonna show you how we do it at the Hill. When I say PV, you say you know. PV! 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 That's what I'm talking about. Storm, let's show them how we get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, now forming at the north end of Kyle Field, the nationally famous Fighting Texas Aggie Band. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is brought to you by ASCO, your place for case construction equipment in Texas. Texas A&M's got a 38-0 lead on Prairie View at halftime. I've got head coach Kevin Sumlin with us right now. And coach Trevor Knight, your assessment of your quarterback in that first half. Well, you know, he had a little jittery to start with. We got to knock the rust off. Uh, you know, we want to get him some, some more game experience. So we're going to start off with him here this, this second half with the ones. See, with me. we start with the ball, so get him some more work and then try to get the other guys in. Yeah, does depth become the theme in half number two? Yeah, and, and we're looking for, uh, you know, focus, like we talked about last week. I want to see guys come out of halftime. They know the situation. Let's play to our standard. And then whoever crosses the white line and get out there, play with some focus, no sloppy football, and let's finish this thing up. We're going to come around this left side. That's going to Ford. Spilled as he hits the 40-yard line and then goes forward to the 44-yard line. The pitch going to Ford again, the right side. And a first down for the Aggies. Hand off. And oh, it was Knight keeping, and he keeps going and across the 35. He's got six carries, 75 yards. Perfect execution of the zone read keep. Sweep has a chance to score. Stutter step scores. That's Ford. The Aggies just made it 44 to nothing. Give me a two something. You guys get out of here. Good job. Good game. The Aggie starters exited early in the third quarter, giving the rest of the depth chart their opportunity. I believe Jake Kubinak has checked in at quarterback. Kubinak throws and a catch at the 32 yard line across the 30. Jeffrey, 22 on that one. Kubinak looking right, looking over the middle, decides I'm going to run. He's to the 10, lowers his head, goes to the 7, 
And McQueen is the holder. Try the snapper. There she is. Aggies just made it. A 48 to nothing lead. Humanak slips a tackle, rolls right, looking. He's going to get a first down. Camera has kicked today from, uh, he's got a 27-yarder and a 22-yarder. Puts it down. Looks like it has the distance as they have the direction. He did. He made it. Boy, he just blew his previous long totally out of the water. After Jamal Jeffrey he is back along with Nick Harvey. Nick. Picked it up off the ground inside the 30. It starts the return to midfield. Cuts it back at the 40. Cuts it back again at the 30. He's at the 25. He's got two men closing on him. He's going to score with no problem. And he did. 73 yards. Hey, yo, shit. Hey, yo, shit. hit the road for the first time and head for the loveliest little village on the plains. That's a deceiving title as only hostilities await at Auburn. We understand, you know, the level of competition in, in, in our league and, and uh, everybody talks about, well, this is a rivalry, this game. Everybody in the SEC West is a rivalry. Uh, everybody's scrapping to try to get to the top. Doesn't matter who you play, right? This whole thing's about how we prepare, how you guys went about it last week, Continue that. Saturday night, we're going to be the fastest team on the field, the freshest team, and ready to play. It's right there for you. But I got news for you. There's about 12 other teams in this league that wanted to, right? Right? Yes, sir. OK, what's going to be the difference? You got to make sure individually you're making that difference, if you really want that. For some of our young players and for some of the guys who haven't been involved in that, we got guys that never been on a plane before. I mean, it's just the different things you take for granted. So um, that whole process and going on the road, being, you know, dealing with a different environment um, will be a little bit different for some of our guys. But uh, fortunately, uh, most of our starting 22 has been through it. And then uh, uh, that's why it was so important to get some of these guys involved this weekend, just so they got some game experience. Know what you're doing. Make sure we can count on you. You can count on each other. When we leave here Friday, that's all you got. 